God said there's coming a day when I'm going to shake the world. But some things will not be shaken. Some things remain. In other words, there's coming a time when the world will be pressed and there'll be no way out. Those times come in your life, in your home. Tension, friction, financial trouble. You're pressed and there doesn't seem to be a way out. There is an answer, there is a way. Jesus said, I am the way. But in the midst of all this changing, there are some things that never change. Think of it a moment. What never changes? The nature of God doesn't change. God hasn't changed. He hasn't changed to adapt himself to our generation. God is unchanging. I am the Lord God, I change not. God is unchanging in his holiness. We're all guilty of coming short of God's holy requirements. And we're all sinners and we're all in need of the grace and mercy of God. And that's why the Lord Jesus came and died on the cross. He died for your sins. He died for mine. And God took your sins and laid them on Christ. God changes not in his holiness. And let me tell you, because he is our holy God, he is also unchanging in his judgment. There is a judgment day coming. Our God is a consuming fire. The Bible is filled with stories of judgment. Our Lord talked more about hell than he did heaven. There is a day of judgment coming. God is a holy God. And you and I are going to stand there. And when I stand there, I'm not going to ask for justice. I'm going to ask for mercy. I need mercy. I need the grace of God. I need the forgiveness of God. And I want to tell you a wonderful thing. God loves you and he offers you tonight forgiveness and he offers you mercy. God can forgive every sin you've ever committed. God can wipe the slate clean because of Christ. Not because you deserve it. For by grace are ye saved through faith in that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. You can't work your way to heaven. You can't buy your way to heaven. God is unchanging. He's unchanging in his love. God loves you. That's the most wonderful thing to go to bed with at night, to know that God loves me. God forgives me. God is interested in me. But I must receive him. Secondly, the word of God does not change. The grass withereth and the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. I settled that a long time ago. There are a lot of things in this Bible I don't understand. There are questions you could ask me that I cannot answer. I don't know all the answers in this book. How can a finite mind like mine comprehend the infinite? I cannot. So one day I opened the Bible and I said, Oh Lord, I accept this as your word by faith. And that settled it from that moment on. When I quote the scriptures, I know that I'm quoting the word of God. It's a living word. And lastly, the way of salvation has not changed. All these centuries, the way to the kingdom of God is exactly the same. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh to the Father but by me. He will never change. But you must change.